Hey guys, welcome back. Well, in my last video, I did a comparison between some of the uh, recent face mills that I picked up, and uh, they all uh, perform roughly, roughly the same. Um, I did have a favourite one, um, but you've just seen me uh, cutting this lathe tool down with. Uh, Possibly my favourite uh, face mill. Now this is a five-inch diameter, and um, the inserts on this are square ceramic. I have got a, I've got a similar one that's the same size, um, and this has. Uh, circular inserts on, again ceramic and uh, they're getting uh, a bit past the best now past the best but uh, with them being circular um, undoing the set screw and just turning them slightly will give you a, a clean cutting edge on them as well again so but uh, that's the uh, that's the finish that I get from this mill Superb finish. So that's that one. Um, another one that I didn't try on that last video was this uh, Iskar one. Uh, now this has got six cutting inserts on. And uh, let me just zoom in, see if you can see the inserts on those probably best that way now uh, I've only just uh, got the forty taper to mount this. This is an SK forty taper, twenty seven millimeter diameter spigot on them. Um, but with the SKs, they're not a direct fit onto my milling machine, like the international forty taper. The two cutouts for the drive dog, one side is uh, is deep enough. But the opposite side isn't quite deep enough, so I've had this on. I've had this on uh, the surface grinder and uh, just taken it down to the same depth as the opposite side, so that will fit in now. I think this has had some use. There's some score marks on it. So it's not absolutely brand new, but I don't think it's had a lot of use. And the inserts on them all look quite new. So uh, I'm going to give this one a try now. I can't see it leaving as nice a finish as the ceramics. But uh, we'll give it every uh, opportunity. One thing I didn't mention there, guys, was the depth of cut with the ceramics. On the previous video I've been taking it down by one millimetre. Um, but having used this one in the past, I know it's capable of a uh, greater depth of cut. So the, the cut that I've just been showing was at two millimetres. So uh, with the new Iskar, I'm going to go back to one millimetre.
Well that's the finish with a new Iskar. Cut very well with a 1mm depth of cut, no trouble at all. And uh, that's probably on par with uh, my previous favourite from the uh, face mills that I tried. But, uh, yeah. Not as good as the uh, ceramic. This is the side I did with the ceramic with the square inserts and that's the Iskar so yeah the ceramic is uh, definitely a step up from that finish well up next guys I think I, I didn't again something I didn't try in that previous one I didn't really think about it till later I've got the large fly cutter this isn't ceramic tip so uh, we'll swap that over and see if that can beat the ceramics That's the results from the from the fly cutter. Um, I reduced the depth of cut on this. Um, it was uh, it was less than half a millimetre. I'm taking off. I have got some. Uh, we're using the fly cutter. We use a a right-handed cutting tool, and I have I have used this fly cutter before in uh, with a a right-handed um, carbide tipped insert but uh, this is without the insert so I reduced it down to less than half a millimetre but I think the finish is on par with the uh, ceramic that I first tried I just the uh, you just can't uh, overdo it with the depth of cut So, yep, this one remains, this one remains my favourite. She's a beauty. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.